Who? That's not the button I wanted to push. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Mama Said, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. It's been a while. We're going to launch a satellite because we have a contract active. Position a satellite in a specific orbit around Kerbin. Last time we tried to do this, we discovered that we were at the limit, absolute limit range, of our aerials. So we need to fix that. Um, while we're up there, we're also going to do this one. Recover scientific data. It's going to be quite cheap. We've got a thermometer on there already, so it's in the case of going, yes, that's fine. So, to extend our communications range, we need to upgrade the tracking station. We've got a million, so I'm just going to push the upgrade button. There we go. Tracking station upgraded. Nice. So you can see we've got Kerbin Scat going around and the orbital stack separator all the way out in there. Fair enough. Let's zoom in all the way. Yep, okay, fair enough. And I believe this is our customer orbit. So it is, as far as I can tell, judging by oh no. What's this orbit? Huh. So I've got several orbits there. That one's been awful easy to get to, but unfortunately it's this one out here. It's the one I've paid for. The one I've bought to contract. So what I will probably do is I will take these ones offline. Because once you see me get the difficult one from Proper Double Dine Inc., these ones I'll do for cash later on. Right, okay, so that's where we need to be going. So, ooh, suddenly the water. So, patch conic puzzle on the Mac, DSM power up to 50. The other thing I'd like to do is I want to upgrade this for flight planning, because I want maneuver nodes. Nice, it also means we can take more contracts. Max of seven. I will leave these empty for now. Ooh, explore the moon. Fly by the moon. Return from moon. Fly by. Well, I think I know what we'll be doing pretty soon after that. But, right now, let us launch our ComSat. This is contact, Contract Sat 1. At the end of the last episode, we may or may not have thought about um, changing our antenna. Um, but it turns out that the other antenna we've got available is quite large and a bit lumpy. Um, and I'm concerned it will pull the satellite off track. So we're going to put the communitron back in over here. So this unit has a pressure mat, a thermometer, probodyne, a battery pack, computer flight unit, a set of solar panels. I believe, if I move Kerbal Engineer out of the way, that we have part space and cache space. So utility, no, don't need those, we're not coming back. Electrical, ground, aerodynamics, payload, coupling, structural, command and control. Nothing. Alright, so it doesn't look like... Ground, thermal, battery packs... Nope, I was looking for reaction wheels. Which we don't have. No reaction wheels. All right, fair enough then. We will, in that case, just go ahead and launch and head out into the distance, into the future, into the past. No, not the past. Yes, the future. All right. So we have our thing here. Reach the designated orbit. So we have a thermometer. It's a new spacecraft. Made sense to be in ten seconds. So we're trying to get out to quite far periapsis. Um, what we'll do is we'll just get ourselves into a parking orbit. And then we'll go from there. All right. All right. Set the throttle to zero because we're just going to go up on the primary rockets for now. We'll zoom in a bit. All right. So when we get to 100, we'll tilt over and stability control. Let's leave it off for now. I think this rocket's pretty stable. And we'll just add a little bit of noise on here. Throttle this engine up to a third, two thirds, and separate stage. Let's get you leaning over. I think we're probably going up a bit too steep currently. Not too worried about the fact that our slow rate acceleration, we're in the thick bit of the atmosphere now. 
So I am just gently tapping, 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 tapping over just to get the prograde marker, as you can see here, to follow us over. I'm not too worried about the fact that we're picking up a bit of inclination, so I will probably endeavour to flatten it off just a little bit. much less atmosphere, I've got a more, lot more control on the reaction wheels and the engine vectoring because I want to flatten the inclination, even though the orbit we're going for has an inclination I don't want to be at some other random inclination and then have to make a whole set of extra changes whereas if we go up at close to zero then I have control about where we'll meet <laughs> our other orbit alright, and we'll go for throttle up there we are, so our periapsis is at 45, we're well clear of the atmosphere now, so I'm not too fussed about our angles, really start to slide over. Just follow the program marker, they're going to bring that up, our apoapsis up to 80, and then kill the engines. And then we are going to be really struggled to manoeuvre, because we don't have pretty good reaction wheels and without the threat the, the vector gimbal the vector to thrust or the gimbal engine this thing really doesn't turn very well all right map add maneuver to apoapsis yep yep maneuver nodes so we need 2000 something, we don't need that much. There we go. That'll do. So we've not got enough fuel actually left in this stage to do this burn. But I don't mind too much. Hmm. Oh yeah, pre precise things. Nice. Ah, I lost it. Alright, uh, I have maneuvered to apoapsis. Node burn time. Suppose to apoapsis is what I kind of wanted. Alright, that'll do. That's circular enough. Let me go leave the map, lock that in. Turn SAS off for just a sec, and then turn it back on again. Oh, apparently we should have already started burning. Whoops! Oh, let's just keep on the no point. That's coming negative. Whoops! Um, it's not going to be a very efficient orbital maneuver. All right, so we're about out of delta V. That's fine. Ditch that stage. Keep track on the maneuver pointer marker, and then get ready to kill the engine. And then, well, are we in orbit? Perhaps his height, not quite. And there we go. That's the camera reorientating. Come on. Alright, I'm just going to stay where we are for now. Come on, periapsis. Get above 70 so I can make a full orbit. Yeah, alright, so we're burning really inefficiently right now. Um, if we have a look at our. It's cancelled moving. If we have a look at our map, you can see we are nowhere near periapsis or apoapsis. Alright, so. What we want to do is get out to one of these ascending nodes. So once we put our apsoapsis on that ascending node, we can then angle our orbit to meet these, and at the same burn, also bring the periapsis out to the other side. And that should mean we get where we want to go. So now we've got 2.3 thousand del... Uh, a thousand... Um... Delta V left, so let's. Whoops, that went a bit far. Oh, 
<laughs> Space sneeze. Space dust. That's the problem. All right. Um, give me precision. Would you mind? Out with the increment. And then we will... Alright, let's have a look. Time to bury apps. Time to node. Five or so minutes. I've got a little bit of time. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Alright, that's the precise node. Next orbit. All right, let's have a look. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's clipping over each other, so I'm happy with that. All right. There's our maneuver node. 8,000... 800 and a bit delta V. And maneuver to apoapsis. You're nice and big, aren't you? Um, and then if we expand that out. It's not quite telling me what I need in terms of Delta V for this one. Kind of annoying, but... <laughs> Alright, so prograde 273, 263, normal minus 98.7. That's excellent. Absolutely excellent. So that's well within our... Well within our budget. So, I will... Cancel that maneuver node and we'll plot it once we definitely know we are on our way. So let's cancel that. Let's make sure that you are awake. So let's extend our antenna. Now, we want our thing to do is transmit scientific data from space around Kerbin. So let's log the temperature and transmit. There we go. Mission complete. Thank you very much. Yes, yes, I get it. That's a bit noisy, but yeah, done. All right. So we need to point you. Oh, there's a nice blue marker as well. At the maneuver node, which is there. And then we should have. There she is. Oh, plant shine. Uh. Just go for a medium, a quality is low, intensity, ambient, light level, about there-ish. This is not realistic, I know, but I want to make sure you guys see everything that's going on. Alright, Kerbal Alarm Clock. Quick add. Warp to Maneuver Alarm. Lead on close. Right, quick add, maneuver alarm. Alright, that's fair enough. Uh, time to no burn. Alright, add, maneuver node, margin, one minute, add alarm. So if I time warp, Are you going to stop? Yes, you are. All right. Good. Thank you, alarm clock. So, we are on the maneuver node. We burn in 50 seconds. At full power. And then we're on our way to further away from Kerbin. Not as far as the um, escape velocity thing that we wanged out into the deep distance, but pretty far. 
What's our current inclination? Oh, nice and flat. Let's hopefully we can try and keep that way. 30 seconds. 25. 20. Double speed. Five times speed. Three, two, fire. Space noises. Alright, and when we get down to within 50 meters per second, kill the engine. Put it on the trickle thrust. And follow the maneuver node. As we get closer and closer and closer. So we use the precise thing to get it precise. Let's be precise. Alright, down to 0.7 uh, uh, meters. More point seven meters speeds left, and it's vanished off into the distance. So let's check where did our orbit end up. Oh, look at that! Isn't that looking good? Nice. All right, have maneuver to apoapsis. I would like you to increase our periapsis out until we come out to about there-ish. Thank you very much. <laughs> Delta V, yep. Nominal rate of total, delta V. Node angle. Edit. I want. Alright. Post burn, apoapsis. Post burn, periapsis. Post burn, inclination. Close editor. Alright. So we need to be out at. 27 by 9 and 27 by 4 so that's close enough now let's get the oh that's the wrong way post burn inclination 14.9 right that's uh so it's the radial we want post burn inclination for nah, let's call it 15 and 27.9 by 27.4. Alright, so if I reduce the prograde. 7.4. There we go. Done. How do I get you to go away? There we go. And then I. Okay. Alright. Nice. Maneuver node plotted. Delta V required. 262. And we've got 14. Wow. All right, so this little rocket can indeed go much further. Oh, hello. I'm not burning. So why did you suddenly... Ah, I must have nudged this. Um... Was it 27.9? There we go. And 14.9. Alright, there is no point being that fussy, <laughs> um, because I'm pretty sure we will never be able to achieve that level of accuracy. But, what we can now do... Alright, I'm happy with that. So, map mode, map mode, there we go. I, need it, I just wanted to cancel the, the head up display on the thing. So, if I uh, warp to maneuver node 3.2, burn time 2.8 seconds. Alright. There we go. Now, here's the question Do we have com range? Or has this all been for naught? Signal strength is exceptional. Signal strength is remaining exceptional. We've got plenty. You can see all these green lines indicating the amount of coverage we've got on uh, on uh, in contact with Kerbal over here. Awesome, shiny, excellent. Can we walk faster. Yeah, we can.
All right, I wasn't entirely sure that it was going to stop the time warp there because I played around with it. So we are time to know two hours for a 2.8 second burn. All right, so give me a three minute margin. You're not stopping your time warp, are you? All right, fine. Um, map. I need to be over here. Damn it. Damn it, I didn't point. The time warp lied. I clicked on the wrong one. I went to Apoapsis rather than the maneuver node. All right. Yes, we've gone past it, but I can't be bothered to wait. So, if I hold that, the maneuver node should ideally correct. So even though I've gone past it a little bit, and I'm burning very slowly. Let's burn up a bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Let's do it beforehand. I get ready on that button. Yeah, there's the button that kills it. <laughs> Bring it down to about 20 meters a second. Or when we see the maneuver node start to move. Put it on trickle. And then follow the maneuver node. All right. Ooh, we're apparently just off. All right, let's flip that retrograde. What's off? Inclination's fine. Apo's too high. All right. There we go, it's gone green. So we're within the range. 27.9, 28. So we've got a margin. And now we need to maintain stability for 10 seconds. Done. Our little satellite, can't zoom in from there, is now in the correct orbit. Wow, that's a long way away. Tell me, what's the temperature out like here? Yeah, nice. Transmit, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you very much. Alright, contract complete. Healthy chunk of cash, pretty much paid for all our upgrades. Uh, that's the contract menu. Oh, righty the hell then. Alright, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this episode of Kerbal Space Program. We've successfully completed an orbital contract. Huzzah for us. We will next episode be going to... Not space. Well... Possibly space. I'll leave it at time. I've got my eye on the tundra. We've not been to where it's cold and snowy, and Kerbals have heard of this thing called ice. They keep finding it on the outside of their ships. So let's go and find out where there's large amounts of it. Bye for now, ladies and gentlemen.